Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you a relatively common trap that you can play with the black pieces against the queen's gambit, which is a very common opening used by beginners and top players alike. The game starts with d4, d5, and white plays c4, which is called the queen's gambit. This move offers a pawn in order to gain control of the center. Black responds with e6, choosing to decline the gambit in a traditional fashion. White develops the knight to c3, and black develops their knight to f6. Both moves are by far the most common choices in this position. Then, white plays one of the top moves which is bishop to g5, and black responds with knight to d7, which is called the knight defense. In this position, white's best move is to take the pawn on d5, but it also happens to be the move that leads to the trap. When white takes the pawn, black can retake it with their own pawn. It seems here that black has blundered, because if white takes the pawn with the knight, black can't take back because the knight is pinned to the queen. But black here has the amazing move knight takes d5, leaving the queen for white's bishop to capture. When white takes the queen, black has the very important move bishop to b4 check, and white suddenly finds his king with no escape squares, and has to play queen to d2. Then, black can just take the queen on d2 with check. And when the white king takes, black takes the bishop with the king, and black is now up a minor piece and has a winning position. According to the Lee Chess database, this mistake has been made by over 11,000 players, so it's very useful to know if you play the queen's gambit declined, whether as white or as black. If you enjoyed the video check out more content on the channel.